<laughs> yeah. So I watch a lot of the YouTube videos, right? So the other night, my wife, lovely wife, she's like falling asleep, and I can't fall asleep because I'm all scatterbrained, so I just start watching some YouTube clips, okay? And I end up seeing this clip of this lady down at the zoo, all right, this lady down at the zoo, who I'm sure wasn't making as much money as the guy who worked at the zoo, and that's what needs to stop. <laughs> hey, ladies, you ever think of opening your own zoo, you know? Is there a reason you wait till we build the whole fucking thing and then, then you're gonna show up when all the hard work is done? All the animals are captured, then you're gonna show, hey, where's my fucking corner office? Yeah. Start your own fucking zoo. Go on, go catch a cobra. See how that is. It's not the point of the story. I just like, I just like being a dick sometimes. So this lady down at the zoo, this lady down at the zoo, she taught this gorilla how to do sign language. Okay? And I don't just mean like hello and goodbye, like literally phrases. This thing could like, like talk about its emotions. They were actually conversing. The gorilla was sitting there talking to her. Oh my God, you look a little upset today. She's like, oh, you know, I'm kind of sad. And they're just talking. So immediately, like my brain just went fucking crazy. I was like, oh my God, she's talking to a gorilla. I love gorillas. Who doesn't want to talk to a gorilla? And then without thinking that my wife is sleeping, I just blurted out, ask it how much it can bench. Ask it how much it can bench. My wife like pops up, she's like, what are you doing? I'm like, look at this, look at this, she's talking to a gorilla. And we, we both just got sucked into this thing, right? So long story short, she's sitting there, she's talking to this gorilla, and one day she decides to get a little kitten, a little kitty cat, right? And immediately I'm thinking like, don't get it a cat. It's a gorilla, it's gonna twist the thing's head off, throw the body over there, play with the head for a while, <laughs> sniffing it and stuff, and then later it's gonna walk over set the head down next to the body and wonder why the whole thing's not getting up again? Because it's a fucking gorilla. It's a wild animal. Wild animals don't have pets, right? It's kill or be killed out there. That's it. They don't have little parakeets on their shoulders and shit. But it was the exact opposite. She gives it this little kitten and the thing immediately understood that it was a baby and this like parental thing came over. It was so like gentle and filled with joy and just play, it was like beautiful, right? And then they, they just understood that it loved this kitten and they started using it as like a teaching tool, right? So, so every night they take the cat back, all right? And then the next day they come in and if the gorilla learned its phrases, it got to play with the kitten. They use it as a motivational tool. So the gorilla's like vocabulary started going through the roof. All right? So to cut to the chase, one night they take the cat home. Somehow the little kitten gets out. It got hit by a car and it died. Yeah, that cat you never met died. <laughs> I'm sorry for your loss. I know you knew it, all of it, for fucking 20 seconds. You know? I don't know if it was dead instantly, like if it drove right over its head and that was it. Or maybe it just hit the back legs and it tried to crawl away, but it was, it was like stuck to the road and it was, it was meowing out and it could see its breath. And right before it lost consciousness, the rats came in and it was, it was just screaming and it had such cute little paws. It was like little socks trying to get it off. I don't know what happened, but you seem so fucking concerned about this kitten. I figured I'd throw out a couple of theories. More concerned about the kitten than all the Hitler shit, by the way. More of a reaction. More of a reaction, that's fine. Every crowd's a little bit different. It's not the point of the story, okay? The point of the story was now this lady had to go down to the zoo. She had to tell the gorilla that the kitten was dead, right? So she comes back down to the zoo and the gorilla's all amped up. This is like its favorite part of the day. It, like, its mind is engaged and it sees its little friend. And at this point, its, it's vocabulary is like crazy now. And the lady shows up, the gorilla's all amped up and just looks at her just like, oh shit, what's up? Yeah, right? Now I can't do sign language. So you're gonna have to bear with me through the rest of this bit. I'm gonna do the best I can, all right? So the thing's like, what's up? Yeah. All right? But the zookeeper lady, she, she has like, you know, just sitting there all sad, you know, trying to think how she's gonna tell it, right? And the gorilla picked up on the vibe. All right, she's kind of like, uh, hello. All right, and all of a sudden the gorilla's energy just comes all down. She just starts looking at the lady like, uh, what's, uh, what's, what's, what's wrong with you? <laughs> Is there something that I, I, I need to know? Huh? 
<laughs> so the lady's sitting there, she's like, uh, ah, Jesus. Uh, well, well, the, the, the kitty cat, it got hit by a car and it's fucking dead. And the gorilla immediately took it in. It immediately took it in and understood. Like its bottom lip started quivering, its eyes started watering up, it was signing like crying. And they go, and later on that night, you could hear it crying inside of its house. They built it a house, I don't know why. They live in trees. It's probably the guilt of putting the thing in a fucking jail, right? Whatever, it was like a two bedroom. It sounded like it was in the kitchen. And you just hear this thing in this house at night, just going like, ooh, 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 ooh. And that was the end of the video.